through with the contents of the bag. Uh, up in the lid here, there are two separate sections. We'll go ahead and just start in this top section here. Uh, what we find here, we have some ammunition loaded into magazines for our Ruger 1022. Uh, I do like the ability to uh, reload that. That's why I carry more than one magazine. Should I have to press this into service for something along the lines of a self-protection roll? Not that that would be my first choice uh, of an action or of a weapon. However, uh, that's the one that I have in here. So I, I do want that capability. I have also just some, some loose ammunition over the longer term. Uh, so that I can do more and more hunting and sustain myself. Because we do have historical precedent for the long protracted emergencies where help's just not coming. You know, uh, a lot of people in, in these different hurricanes and emergencies, they, uh, they see that the response is woefully inadequate. And it's not that people don't want to help. It's just that we don't have the resources to significantly reach everyone in a timely fashion like we're seeing now in Puerto Rico. I mean, it's just the entire island has, has a lot of issues and it's not a quick fix. We can't just flip a switch. We have to go in and literally rebuild all of the infrastructure. So if you're relying on yourself to eat, you know, this is just another way to do that. It's another tier. Um, also, if we get near a body of water, these self-retracting yo-yos uh, for fishing are nice because you can set them and then they will set the hook themselves. You can suspend these on uh, pieces of wood, limbs, you can lash them to rocks. So I like to carry uh, several of those. They're again a passive food means. The only real active food collection that I have in here would be the rifle itself. Everything else is something I'm going to set up and then I'm going to be working on other things, water procurement, uh, firewood and fuel and improving my shelter and, and do another task, maybe even sleeping. Just, uh, we don't talk enough about sleep. That's why I carry an MSS. You know, sleep is very important. After two or three days, if you're adequately sleep deprived, you're not going to make good decisions. And you know, your mind is the best survival tool that we have. So we have to be rested. You, you cannot really, uh, overemphasize the importance of sleep. Hugely important. Uh, inside of here, this is a bag containing some actual tripwire. Uh, I have some 65 pound test spider wire or pro glide. Can't remember which it is, but really, really hard to see stuff. And so what I do, if I'm assuming that I'm by myself and I'm operating in an area where there's lots and lots of bears, we have these devices here that you load a 209 shotgun primer in and attach a tripwire to it, cover and conceal it. And when tripped, it makes the loud bang sound of the cap going off enough to scare the bear away so that he's not messing around in my camp. Uh, so I do like to carry those. I generally carry between four and six of those and enough line that I can do a perimeter around my camp at least 50 yards away. A hundred yards would be better depending on the terrain and if that's possible. But I do like that early warning so that I can hear that and wake up and kind of get my senses about me to realize, oh, I have a visitor in my camp fairly close. Uh, and if it's a two-legged predator, when they hear a shotgun primer detonate, mentally they think, oh, somebody just took a shot at me. So now their attention is not on stealthing up on you or aggressing on you, it's self-preservation. So you've reset their OODA loop. So that's a really good lightweight tool to have. Uh, an inexpensive Mora knife, I carry that as a backup in case my primary knife uh, has become lost, broken, damaged in some way. I again choose that not only because it's inexpensive, but because it's very, very light and I'm, I'm weight conscious of each item. Some things in here are heavy and they have to be, so I carry them. Other things where I can cut weight, I do cut weight. And so that's just another implement. Uh, pen and weatherproof paper or pencil, as it were, uh, may not seem like an essential item, I feel like it is. Uh, I may need to draw maps. I may need to make notes. I may need to write things down. If I'm doing land navigation, uh, I may need to make notations 
of where I go, how to get back there, what the azimuth is, what the pace count is, things like that. I might want to drop a note for a friend somewhere we're going to meet. There's lots of times where I feel like I, I need to be able to write something down in any condition in a moist environment. And the weatherproof pads and a standard number two pencil will satisfy that need. Also in the lid so that I can get to it quickly, just a basic marker panel. Uh, if I'm hiking around and I want to be seen and I'm dressed in earth tones and I want to get someone's attention, this is a daytime visual aid that could facilitate that. Or this pack is green, so if I wanted to tie it into these straps here, I would make myself a lot more visible if I'm trying to facilitate rescue. So I have that choice. I want to be subdued, low signature, or I want to be high vis. It gives you that flexibility. Uh, another water filter, notice there's more than one, on a lanyard along with a ferro rod. Water is life and fire is a close second, along with yet more parachute cord.